been a while. Quite a while. A very long time. Life. Life's been taken... Taken... Progress, I guess you could say. I've been moving... I would like to say forward with everything. Working hard. Trying to, you know, get a grip of everything. Uh, you know, everything's changed after uni. So much, so much more has come my way. And it, it's been it's been really cool. I've been mostly enjoying it. I think it's been wonderful. But... Yeah, I'm here to talk about it. I'm here to talk about it and introduce you to something that I've been working on, which is pretty cool. But at the moment, I'm here in Poland. I'm here with my girlfriend. And yeah, I've been here for a bit now. But yeah, it's just, you know, it's wonderful to be back in the home country. You know, I've been working hard whilst here as well. So I've not just been sitting here and not doing anything. I am working with this great company called Games to Get and uh, I've been working with them since uni because I managed to land a contract whilst on a project there and it's been wonderful and I'm kind of here to talk about that progress and that process. Process? I'm here to talk about it. I'm here to let you know that it's been pretty cool and uh, they're a wonderful company to work with and I'm actually going to be showing you like behind the scenes stuff of this project that we're working on with these YouTube videos. So if you want to see more of that, please like the videos and subscribe to keep updated because there's a lot more coming. I'm just getting in the groove of it all. I've been upping my Instagram game. I've been posting twice a week and today is actually a post day. So I should uh, get on that after this. But yeah, it's been it's been great. I've been drawing a lot. I've been working on my art in that way. I can show you some pictures on the screen. But just been working, improving my own skills to make sure that, you know, the stuff I produce is a lot higher quality. But yeah, a little bit more about uni. Uni was a tough one for me. It was hard, very hard. And I'm sure it is for everyone that does it, but I didn't feel like I fit in from almost the start, but I did want to finish that degree just in case I couldn't pursue my actual dream and I had to slow it down and go in another area. And you know, it's always good to have a degree behind your name whenever you're applying for jobs and stuff. But I realized very early on that this isn't actually what I want to do in life it was quite uh it didn't come as a, it, it kind of came as a shock to me because i did really think i i enjoyed it but it did get to a point where i was just like oh, do you know what i'm just gonna get through this and then i'll do my own thing and yeah uni was a tough one it lasted a long time <laughs> and i also had a year of a break uh kind of a break it was more to try and start my own brand which as many will know didn't go as well as planned but i got to learn a lot through that <clears throat> and it was it was a process that i'm happy i went through because it let me really think about what i love to do and I, what, what i want to do and it was for me that time that it kind of the switch was like flicked on okay you know what i want to focus on this art and then i finished uh, the rest of uni and now i'm here and i managed to land a job with a company where i get to draw loads for them and i get to like help them out creatively every day and it has been a dream come true at the in in general i did try my best at uni i didn't get the best grades but i tried my best just to get through it and to get that degree out of it so i did all that so yeah i guess i'd be proud of that yeah it is just kind of sitting on my shelf at the moment whilst i enjoy working for these guys and that's probably the best thing that did come out of this uni course was that that contract with the, meeting these people and being able to work with them uh, on these fantastic projects and this one which i'm going to show you stuff for i'm loving every part of it at the moment and i get to do a lot of stuff today i'm going to be working on their uh, tiktoks and socials so i'll be creating more tiktoks for them and yeah all of that stuff will be linked down in the description you can go check it out uh, you can check out my instagram and their one pretty basically most of my creative work is going to be put on there so that will, you'll be able to see it fully there if it's not on the video. But yeah, it's a wonderful place to go. And it's just us showing you the behind the scenes of everything. Just trying to, you know, get to know everyone. Because um, it's good to see what happens behind the, behind the products that we buy. just to kind of show 
show you all. Today's mostly like ad and stuff. So we're getting a, a bunch of these posts ready um, for the next upcoming days. We're gonna be posting about three times, three times a day. And we've got some previews of like stuff we've been working on before the showcase. So this is like a concept for one of the boxes, uh, for the box that we're doing of the game. This is what it looks like roughly. But yeah, essentially my job right now is to make a mosaic out of this that we can post on, on Instagram. So yeah, that's one of the jobs I've got to do today. I've also got to organize all the other ones. So I'll show you all that stuff. And then we'll finally be working on a TikTok for them. So I'll show that stuff as well. What I've been really loving about this job is the amount of things that I actually get to do. So it's not only drawing, sometimes it actually comes to things like video editing, which is something I've always had a passion for, but I've never really done it apart from like YouTube and potentially some TikToks. So now I actually get to create these really cool TikToks with these guys, which uh, allow me to use some dope stuff, like, you know, little, little animations and, you know, playing around with footage like this um it's just a lot of fun and it's very enjoyable to do so definitely keep your eyes posted for this because this will be coming out on the instagram reels and tiktoks very soon great perk of this job is <laughs> essentially doing a lot of stuff that i love and it's all in one which is why i'm saying this is essentially like a dream job for me Now I wanted to do this section to finish off the video. I want to talk about the equipment I get to use when I'm traveling like this, because, um, you know, I do have to have all this stuff with me because I am drawing for this company and I am producing a lot of graphics and stuff. So I do have to have equipment on me to do that. Otherwise I wouldn't, it would be quite hard to do it. So to start off with, number one important thing is a notebook and a pencil or something. I have this trio here. That I have. I also like to collect stickers from like cafes and places we go to and I like to stick them on here just as little memories but it's just a sketchbook full of random doodles and stuff. This is my personal one, this is where I draw in and if I do have an idea for work or something I will put it in here. And these, I think I buy these from WH Smith, they're like rip-offs of like moleskin sketchbooks and stuff but they're a lot lot cheaper and they're actually really high quality so. And then another one I have which I bought here is just more of like a portable one. It, this is also a sketchbook. It has more of the stuff that I am doing for a personal project in here. I have this uh, mean looking Santa Claus in here that I sketched up at some point, but um, at the moment I'm in the process of designing my own universe. <laughs> so uh, yeah, all of this stuff is just goes into there. Uh, I write it down, I draw it, I sketch it out and it's just a place for the ideas to live because if I try to remember them I'll most likely forget them at some point so yeah everything is basically in this book um, and a lot more stuff will be coming for that so stay posted and then I have a basic uh, like pencil case that I got from Tiger I think um, really cool shop really cheap stuff but yeah, it's just got spots for my pencils and everything that I use. I'm mostly a mechanical pencil guy, but I do have a, one of these which kind of imitates a real pencil, but it's mechanical because, you know, sharpeners are annoying, especially when you're on the go. Now, here comes the most important one. I don't think I could live without this thing at the moment. It's my iPad Pro. I have had this since the beginning of uni. This has served me very well. I have actually made more money with this thing than it's worth now so i kind of you could say that i have paid back the cost of this entire thing and obviously this pairs with the apple pencil without it i couldn't do anything but this thing i basically get all my professional drawings out i do it on procreate but i also have an app called duet and a subscription to that so i kind of can use this as a graphics tablet on my laptop which is the next part of my toolkit i'm not really gonna fully show it off here because i'm recording my audio like my voice on it this is the m1 macbook pro 
13 inch. This is the first one that came out with the M1s and it's been a beast. It has been crushing everything I throw at it from After Effects files to Photoshop to everything. And I used to be a Windows guy and I kind of went over to Mac because of the iPad and the whole ecosystem. And I was just like, you know what? Let's just make that final step and get a MacBook. And it was probably the best decision I made in regards to like professional stuff because now I can be anywhere and do my work because this thing absolutely crushes it. Video editing, all of that. I'm pretty sure it would even crush 3D work from what they showed at the keynotes and everything. So I will probably get into that at some point in my life, but at the moment it is mainly 2D stuff. But yeah, that and I pair it with uh, this, which I also got myself for Christmas is a MX Master 3. Uh, I used to have the MX Master, the, the second one, but it was like an Amazon edition or something. That mouse is, great i have been loving it every time i do occasionally still use the trackpad for like zooming in on timelines and stuff but this thing has been able to pretty much replace it fully and it's just a lot more comfortable because i do spend a long time creating graphics and using my the mouse and everything like that so it's very important that it is comfortable for me which you know the whole importance of this setup is comfort and being able to work long hours because I do tend to work a very long day every single day of just drawing and creating stuff so I do have to try and make it as comfortable as I can for myself but yeah I think that about does it any other small things is stuff like SSDs I have a portable SSD that I need to keep all my stuff on um, I have this stand this drawing stand which I forgot in England which is but it's essentially this fold out stand and you can flip it up and it becomes a stand for my uh, iPad so I can draw on it. And it is amazing because, you know, I can have it propped up and it's a way nicer to draw rather than having, you know, doing that all the time. But I did forget it and I haven't found a replacement here. So I'm not gonna buy one at the moment. I'm just gonna wait till I go back and pick it up again. But the last one would probably be my phone because without it, I couldn't do anything. At the moment, I'm recording everything with my phone. Uh, I'm using it way more than I would have used before. Like I've, you know, I'm even considering selling my camera because I'm thinking like if I get a new iPhone, it probably will have, it will, it will have an even better camera than this. Um, but my phone is a very, very, important part of this entire thing for obvious reasons communication getting clients uh, using it for video recording audio recording everything you know that's where life is at the moment it's a bit of a summary of basically everything that's happening because there's been a lot of stuff you know going on with work wise and life wise that's all stuff that I want to get into eventually in separate videos and uh, I definitely want to talk about my uni experience a bit more in depth because uh, I have some things to say about it. But yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this one. It's good to be back and I hope you have a wonderful day. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button. And if you do wanna see more of this update stuff with work and everything like that and similar videos to this, then please do subscribe to my channel and I'll keep you posted via Instagram and everything else. The links for everything that I mentioned will be down in the description below. And yeah. Have a nice day and I'll see you soon, hopefully.